Welcome back on AML study by Suhail. So today our learning objectives are shell company and the self company and what is different between them. So second uh, objective is today objective is uh, difference and similarity between terrorist financing and money laundering. We will explain in detail what is uh, actually meant by shell company, what is actually meant by shell companies. So later um, we will discuss a uh, difference, uh, difference between terrorist financing and money laundering. And uh, hopefully end of the session you will be able to create differentiate between these uh, two things. So let's start. So first we will discuss what is uh, shell and self companies and why um, like uh, create these type of companies and what is the advantage of these companies and how it is vulnerable for money laundering and uh, why people prefer to use these type of companies for money laundering and terrorist financing and uh, as well the basic purpose of uh, these companies uh, to establish. So first the here is uh, I will uh, would like to explain what is the definition of uh, self company a corporation that has had no activity it has been created a put on self this corporation is later to sold someone who prefer as a previous registered corporation over a new one uh, self company there is actually though no activity behind it it's just a, a company uh, you can say exist in documents it's only registered there is no activity at any level so it sometimes it's also uh, sold over to another one who is uh, want to like uh, buy a, a old company instead of a register new one. Shell company, a company that uh, at the time of incorporation has no significant assets or operations. Uh, like uh, you just register a company and uh, there is no even infrastructure even there is no oh, significant assets which is uh, required for uh, companies and uh, uh, even there is no operation because these companies only exist in uh, uh, like a documentation there is no physical uh, existence so legit, what is the legitimate purpose of these companies they can be established with the primary objective to claim the proceeds of crime and legitimate revenue and uh, or to commingle criminal proceeds with the legitimate revenue. Okay, I will give you an example how they commingle criminal proceeds with legitimate revenue. Like suppose one person have a, a petrol pump, he is owning a petrol, a petrol pump. So as well he is de doing some uh, uh, drug dealer. Uh, he he just earn some money from uh, drugs uh, either illegal resources uh, he just commingle the money like uh, he can show this money he is earned from petrol pump so in this type they uh, can commingle the criminal proceeds with the legitimate revenue the use of shell and self companies to facilitate money laundering is, is a well documented typology according to FATF. October 2006, FATF issued a report called the Misuse of Corporate Vehicles including Trust and Companies Services Providers. In this report, FATF said that a particular concern was the ease with which corporate vehicles can be created and disclosed in some jurisdictions. It allowed these vehicles to be used not only for legitimate purposes such as business, finance, mergers, acquisitions, estate and tax planning. Also by those involved in financial crime to conceal the source of fund while keeping their ownership concealed. A 2001 report money laundering in Canada and analysis of, uh, of R RCMP cases offered four related reasons to establish or control a shell company. First one is shell company accomplish the objective of converting the cash proceeds of crime into alternative assets. Yes. Look, uh, which I give you example, like uh, uh, one person have petrol pump and uh, as well he earn some money from drug uh, business. 
so he just convert the that amount into like another asset like he is just showing his earn from a um, petrol pump business so he is convert the uh, like a source of fund the launder can create the perception that illicit fund have been generated from a legitimate resource sources look same example fit here like uh, once uh, like uh, he uh, go to bank and he want to deposit money and uh, banker will ask uh, how you earn this money what is the source of uh, this money he simply said sir uh, i am owning one petrol pump and this is money uh, we generated from petrol pump so in this way he generate a legitimate resource source once a shell company is established a wide range of legitimate and bogus business transaction can be based used to further the laundering process uh, yes like uh, there is a fake uh, he is just issuing uh, from this company fake invoices fake expenses fake payments even he can show the employees are working there and he is paid some expenses against salaries ex expense petty cash so in this way there is a wide range to like show these like a transaction happened and he can like uh, you can mess up all the transaction and in the end he will he she will be successful to show these um, transaction happened and uh, this is a uh, income come from a uh, legitimate resources legitimate companies shell companies can be also be effective in concealing criminal ownership nominees can be used as owner director officers and shareholders uh, look actually shell companies not most of the time register with the person who is the owning actually like who is the actually uh, ultimate beneficiary of the company so he just uh, register with another person who is not uh, like a uh, uh, owning that company because there is a nominees persons uh, that person just hired this type of persons for doing illegal transactions and at the end of the time he will be clean because he is not owning uh, anything if you check the documents there another person who is not ultimately beneficiary of the company um, like if fiu or any other regulatory body will catch that person is um, there is no even record you can catch ultimate beneficiary so in this way that's why they are prefer to register with the uh, like a, a nominees persons who just take a little part of this uh, um, uh, like a uh, amount so can the report mention the following money laundering techniques used in conjunction with criminal controls companies using nominees as owner or director i give you example why they are using nominees person to register this type of company because they don't want to show their uh, uh, like uh, who is the behind this company that's why they are hired this type of people layering they can if uh, they are uh, registered like more than one companies even they are also layered with uh, like uh, and other companies they can like a transfer one company <coughs> you are very if you are understand the what is the compliance and you are uh, in, um, like uh, already you follow my previous lectures i uh, explained very well what is the leading even there i explained with the example if someone is uh, isn't uh, know the um, leading please visit my lecture money laundering procedures you can very well understand what is the leading so loans <coughs> um uh, you know uh, once a company registered there is some, uh, even there is a few transactions and if companies continue few uh, months 
you can uh, took a loan on behalf of that company so many people establish this type of company to take a loan from the bank and at the end there is a they will uh, like uh, run away and bank will uh, uh, like uh, if a bank did not uh, did proper edd enhanced due diligence uh, at the end they will uh, face loss this type of uh, from this type of uh, companies fictitious business expenses false in my sis yes i explained before the shell come from the shell companies and businesses uh, shell, uh, they are issuing false invoices to showing their turnover as well they are showing some activity that's why they are issuing a false invoices even they are doing some transaction and uh, <clears throat> during bank uh, ask some um, questions they are uh, preparing false invoices and uh, uh, hand over to banker and uh, maybe they on the behalf of these invoices they will release their money so in this way they also use in false invoicing <clears throat> sales of the business um, like uh, if you want to sell your uh, uh, anything like um, someone is come for um, uh, owning the prop uh, the, uh, buying the property and uh, property dealer will ask what is the source of fund he can sh uh, um, can show the statement of these shell companies because there is fake statement he is the, simply he is just uh, like a, um, just a take a confidence of dealers and uh, he can uh, show these uh, are uh, companies who uh, like that's why he is coming to sale of the business buying a company already owned by the criminal enterprise look this is also very famous tactics which is used to uh, used uh, through terrorist financer as well as uh, money launderer you have illegal money and uh, there is a shell company you already own that company but you just uh, pay a money like just showing transaction you are paying money against uh, like shell company 1 million and uh, this 1 million is coming from illegal resources so in this case you will uh, like uh, you uh, earn 1 million from uh, illegal resources and here you put in a um, uh, like a shell companies um, and you just show uh, i just uh, uh, like uh, uh, pay against this money uh, for this company and i am now legally own this company yeah, like a shell company so in this way he he should take advantage uh, and uh, even this company already owned by same person same enterprise paying out fictitious salaries yes <clears throat> and uh, last slide i explained how they pay salaries fictitious salaries and what is the advantage to pay these type of fictitious uh, salaries and why they are creating fictitious salaries and what is the reasons so they are just showing some transaction even they are showing some expenses uh, i explained as well uh, in a detailed previous slides so today our second topic is a difference and similarity between terrorist financing and money laundering so most of the people know what is the money laundering as well they knows very well what is the terrorist financing like uh, if you are um, like a sponsor any illegal activity which is harm for the countries for people for even uh, human right against human rights so this is called terrorist uh, financing so people are most of the people are confused what is different between them so hopefully at uh, end of the, this session you will uh, uh, understand what is the difference between terrorist financing and money laundering we will uh, see what is the uh, fact of uh, uh, um, like a uh, given the which type of uh, recommendation fact of given to us and we need to um, like implement uh, these recommendation on our country on our institution and uh, as well on our companies uh, financial institutions first one identify assess and understand terrorist financing risk recommendation one they are uh, uh, fact of uh, strongly said to us you, we should identify assess and understand terrorist financing risk we should need to calculate the risk how uh, like how terrorists uh, like uh, generate the fund and how they uh, got the assess uh, of uh, this fund we need to understand these typologies then we, we can recognize and then we can catch comprehensively criminalize terrorist financing as a distinct offensive 
<clears throat> so we should criminalize these uh, activities, have targeted financial sanctions and tariffs, uh, assets freezing. Every country should be implement their uh, like uh, their regulate, regulated body should freeze the assets if they found any terrorist financer, any terrorist financing um, group, and uh, um, even any activity he found he, she found. So they need to uh, freeze their assets. Equipment law enforcement agencies and finan uh, financial in intelligence unit with all necessary powers and resources recommendation 29 to 31 so uh, fed of recommend us we need to give some power to our law enforcement agencies as well as financial intelligence units um, they can we will take a, uh, like a necessary steps even we need to given power as well as resources because uh, if you want to do something you need some resources like uh, you need um, uh, like labor uh, like you need to professionals uh, like you need to tools like you need to uh, different type of uh, infrastructure for uh, uh, this type of uh, bodies so um, the country should the government of the country should facilitate the FIUs to do this uh, as per recommendations so the most basic difference between terrorist financing and money laundering involves the origin of funds. Yes, uh, we need to look origin of the funds. If uh, someone needs uh, uh, like a transfer the money, we should know uh, what is the origin of the fund. Uh, even this, um, uh, if we talk about money laundering, origin of fund always uh, illegal uh, resources. But if we talk about terrorist financing, maybe origin of fund is legal and legitimate. So be careful, guys. On this uh, state, there is a very critical and uh, um, like uh, here we can need to more resources to analyze what is the uh, like um, uh, how can we analyze the difference between money laundering and terrorist financing. So first one is the origin of the fund. Then terrorist financing use fund for an illegal purpose, but the money is not necessarily derived from illicit proceeds. Yes, if uh, we, uh, there is terrorist financing, there always illegal political purpose, even against the human rights, even against any country, even against any uh, community. So this type of activity is uh, under the terrorist financing. But if you talk on money laundering, there is a, uh, maybe there is a no political uh, purpose. Maybe there is no illegal political. They only uh, like uh, show this money is uh, come from legitimate resources, that's it. Money laundering always involves the proceeds of illegal activity. Yes, if anybody want to money laundering, he hundred percent, two hundred percent, he take money from illegal activities. It's not possible he earn the money from legal legal resources and he want to money laundering. So he always because if he earn from legitimate resources, he easily present the documents and he can transfer the money from any one country to another country. So in the, uh, if he earned money from illegal activities, then he can uh, like uh, launder the money, right? So the purpose of uh, laundering is enable the money laundering to be used legally. Yes, you, I think you understand this uh, um, activity as well. Terrorists use methods similar to those of money criminal organized cash smuggling both in um, um, like you can say for in money laundering and terrorist financing both they can use cash smuggling they are also structuring because they want to uh, like uh, um, like uh, they did not uh, uh, want a uh, organization will put eyes on them so they structure the money purchase of monitoring instruments there are different type of uh, instruments and um, if you don't know what is the type of uh, monetary instrument you can go my previous lecture i explained very well what is type of a uh, monetary uh, instrument and how can they use wire transfers yes in both if you're talking uh, in both they can use a wire transfer and use a debt credit and a prepaid cards as well so guys if you don't know these of the things you should 
uh, follow my previous lecture i explain these things uh, in very detail uh, in its uh, 2004 monograph on terrorist financing <clears throat> the national C uh, commission on terrorist attacks upon the united states stated that neither the september 11 hijackers nor their financial facilitated war expert in the use of international finance uh, financial system the terrorists created a paper trail linking them to each other and their facilitators still they were adopt enough to blend into the vast international financial system without revealing themselves as a criminal the money laundering controls in place at the time were largely focused on drug trafficking and large scale financial fraud and were not significant focus on the transaction engaged in the in by the hijackers since 9/11 international efforts to detect and that the terrorist financing have increased significantly con uh, uh, conversely in response to these efforts terrorists and terrorist financer have adopted expanding and varying their methods of raising and moving funds requiring increased innovation and vigilance by law enforcement and financial institution so here is the case study if you want to learn about um, learn uh, amount of knowledge and how the terrorists uh, fin uh, did the tra um, like financing for terrorist attack in uh, 911 you can go through this uh, uh, like case study and uh, then there is uh, some uh, account profile uh, i just uh, segregate uh, this uh, case study after that you will uh, should uh, like uh, go through these account profile and how can they transaction profile what is the transaction uh, like a uh, present at time and what is the actually the scenario whole scenario uh, first you go through this um, uh, case study then you will uh, should uh, focus on these uh, points uh, and you will very well understand uh, how can terrorist financer did this uh, Um, um activity and uh, how they uh, like uh, um, generate the fund and how they did uh, hold the activity there is some international activity also involved uh, like uh, uh, while uh, united states two of the hijackers had deposit made on their behalf of unknown individuals hijackers on all four uh, flights purchased travel checks overseas and bought them in to the us some of these uh, traveler checks uh, uh, were deposit into their us uh, checking accounts one of the hijacker received substantial funding through wire transfer into his german bank account in 1998 and 1999 in from an individual in 90 in 99 this um, same hijacker opened an account in uae giving a power of attorney over the amount uh, account to the same individual who had uh, been uh, wiring money to his german account more than 100000 usd was wired from the uae account of the hijacker to german account of a same hijacker in a 15 month period so you need to go through these uh, case study and then you will analyze and you will check your knowledge and your uh, grip of um, on aml uh, structures so then you will uh, able to analyze uh, which type of uh, uh, typologies uh, terrorist financer use for uh, doing a terrorist financing so uh, this is the guidance for financial institutions in deducting uh, terrorist financing how can we deduct the terrorist financing we need to put on focus on these uh, uh, five steps use an account as a front for a person with suspected terrorist link once we are register any customer we should uh, check in our sanction screening software in adverse media and different other resources which is uh, provided by a like a national and international uh, regulatory bodies we need to check at uh, the transaction there is a, if there is a no or oh, uh, you didn't deduct any like a link between uh, this uh, uh, transaction with uh, this list then you can uh, process transaction appearance of an account holder name on a list of a uh, suspected terrorist list you should carefully check if uh, uh, transaction name 
uh, who is uh, like I mean for transaction name match with suspected terrorist list you should uh, uh, be careful and check properly with the the adverts media as well as uh, different sources you need to check and properly then you can go for transaction if you found any type of a suspected terrorist activity uh, um, like a um, any like even one percent you suspect you supposed to behold the transaction and they, um, you should do proper enhanced due diligence if uh, there is a, a trans and no found any negative news then you can uh, forward the transaction otherwise you supposed to be stop the transaction frequent large cash deposit in account of non-profit organization like if uh, organization even a corporate company even a person even a natural legal person um, frequently large cash uh, like a uh, deposit in a same account which is the non-profit organization this is as well uh, the sign of a terrorist financing high volume of transaction in a account if a, a person is a, like a transferring a high volume of transactions doing a high volume of transaction but uh, there is a uh, he, she is not presenting legal resources and uh, this is also like a red flag you need to more focus on it lack of a clear relationship between banking activity and the nature of a account holder the business so this is also there is a like a um, sender is not given proper uh, um, like a relationship and even he is unable to explain the um, what is the uh, like you can say the relationship between a sender and receiver you are not satisfied you need to like uh, be careful and you need to do, uh, do more enhanced due diligence so once you are get the confidence that this transaction is a uh, legal and this transaction there is no any issue so then you can process this type of transaction so today our topic is uh, close and uh, thank you for uh, watching this so end of uh, today's session i would like to request you please follow the channel subscribe even share and uh, uh, as well um, click on a bell icon so uh, guys uh, from uh, next onward i will explain the what is the fat of how why fat of uh, like uh, established what is the reason of uh, uh, established and why they are giving scoring to countries and what is the reasons of giving scoring and uh, why they are uh, giving a different type of scoring like a gray white then um, high risk uh, different type of re uh, rating so in next coming uh, sessions i will explain about the fat of and uh, um, this is also nowadays fat of is uh, like uh, uh, put monitoring all over the world so uh, um, as a compliance professional we should know what is the fat of and fat of uh, what is the basic uh, purpose of fat of what is the objectives of fat of and why fat of is uh, like uh, putting more monitoring tools on uh, different countries and what is the uh, reason behind it so um, if you want to learn about the uh, regarding to fat of and uh, you should uh, uh, keep in touch with me and uh, hopefully you will uh, then after the coming sessions you will understand what is the fat of uh, uh, purpose of um, establish and uh, the, what is the objectives of uh, fat of so guys really appreciate your feedback your comments and your um, like uh, different suggestions so i will try to uh, like uh, make a video as per your suggestions and as per your um, like recommendations it's uh, really boost my confidence and uh, i will always uh, try to uh, like uh, give them our maximum and uh, i will uh, share uh, my knowledge and uh, if anyone if even a single one uh, like a uh, follow um, these things and uh, he will uh, got uh, some knowledge from my uh, presentations i really really uh, much uh, oh, thank you very much it's uh, over today hopefully i will come back with the new video which is related to fatter which already i uh, explained to you what is the actually i will explain in coming videos so thank you very much stay blessed